Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing. It's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. And a fine, how do you do to you? I'm doing fantastic. Are you? Yeah. Nice. We just got done with uh, a workout over at uh, uh, Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho. And I'll tell you what, what a workout it was. My arms are energized my legs are brutalized and i'm <laughs> ready i just i just feel a little like yeah. jelly af- yeah. afterwards and so uh but it's been super fun the orange theory over at parker and Arapaho road they take really they just take really good care of us you know we've worked out there for a couple of years now I was telling somebody we have never done the same workout twice or maybe Maybe we have, and I'm just delirious, no, no. and I've forgotten about it. No, and you I mean, are it's correct. completely possible, but nope. it's all still so challenging and and exciting. And you 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 push yourself at the level that you are at That's because correct. of the heart rate monitors, and so it's it's been super effective for both Eric and I to get on board. But we're mostly so. Yesterday we had a little chit chat about you know eating healthier because of really serious reasons like That's right. like diabetes and obes- obesity and heart disease but nay nay <laughs> that's not what's motivating us that's not us. what is motivating us at no. all you would think it would and it should uh-huh. but it's really getting our toes in the sand Can't coming come, up baby yeah we're going in april mm-hmm. and so we're starting to look at the countdown and you're starting to feel like how tight your jeans are fitting going mm <laughs> this is the reason we've got to start getting ourselves in shape. You know, whatever the reason is, uh, is a good reason to to motivate you to get you uh, in in shape. And I, you know, I'm excited. I, it's it, I was talking to somebody earlier. Uh, it's time for a vacation. It is. You know, it really is, and you can start to feel that. You still have the changing of the seasons, and uh, it, it just is. It's time to go on vacation and get a little, uh, little re-energized, if you will. The uh, the markets all down all closed down today. Uh, the Dow down twenty five points. The Nasdaq down thirty six and a half points, and uh, the Center Poor's five hundred down six points. Which, uh, gosh, we were hoping to see uh, a thirteenth day in a row of the Dow being uh, up, and we would have made history. But uh, it is not to be today. I don't know what else to. Say about that. Did you see that SpaceX, you know, the, uh, is that Elon Musk? I think it is. Uh, he's going to send two people around the moon. Did you see that? I did not. You know, I, probably because I don't really follow the whole little space travel yeah. thing. Does that sound appealing to you? I don't even want to climb a 14er. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. You know, if, if you've got enough money and you're just looking for something to do, uh, SpaceX is planning to send two tourists around the moon in 2018. The uh, ambitious rocket company headed by Elon Musk wants to send these tourists to the, to the moon and back. Uh, before the end of next year. If they manage that feat, the passengers will be the first humans to venture that far into space in more than 40 years. Mr. Musk made the announcement on Monday uh, in a telephone news conference. He said two private individuals, and by the way, they are not Hollywood types. That's the word we're getting. Okay. They well, how did uh, Hollywood. I mean, if only two. Only two people in the whole wide world. Well, there's only so many people that can, can fit in the, uh, in, in the capsule that, that We'll I know, but how back. do you pick? Um, whoever ponied up the money first, I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay. Uh, that's what I would say. In any case, they're going to spend about a week in one of the SpaceX Dragon 2 capsules launched on SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. The spacecraft would be automated, but the travelers will undergo training for emergencies. Houston, we hope not to have a problem. Yeah, it's not like they just do this on a regular basis, no. problem-free. No, no. Uh, In fact, I think almost every time there has been some kind of problem. Isn't there usually? Yeah. Uh, Here's an interesting story of um, entrepreneurism, I guess. In Britain, a university student found an unusual way to make some spare cash. He's making pencil cases. You know, like, you know, pens and pencils. You stick the pens and the pencils. Yes, I'm quite familiar. I used Mm -hmm. to have one of those. uh, Um. Was yours, you know, in grade school? was yours made out of a dead animal? I hope not. Well, these are. 
He's making oh, pencil cases are. out of dead animals after teaching himself taxidermy. So he's a self-taught taxidermist. Jack Devaney, 22 years old, who's studying 3D design in okay, Devon, okay, England. Okay, okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> he says he used skills honed while working part-time in a butcher shop for nine years. Why Why pencil cases? Well, um, because that's pretty much what mice and rats can hold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. so it's, a, it's made out of. It looks like a rat standing on all fours with uh, the little googly eyes because. Taxidermy removes they, the They eyes. do the whole thing. He does yeah. the whole thing. So it yeah. still looks like. He's got his like... tail going out. Yeah. But you can unzip his back. Oh. Oh, and put yay. Your pencils. So maybe it could even be like a little coin purse. Yeah, it certainly so, could. So you want to hear something really cute? Uh, sure. Um, in the afternoons here on the on uh, KDMT where we broadcast out of Denver. Yeah. There's a show called The Americhicks. Yes. And the gals that host the show carry purses yes. that look like chickens. Yes, but they're not chickens. They're not chickens. That's the important they're distinction kind of look like between rubber that chickens. story and this right, story. Right, yeah. They do look like rubber <laughs> like chickens. Like rubber chickens. And they're adorable they purses. Are. And of course, right. because their brand is the Americhicks, it it's makes It's great sense. branding, you great bet. conversation piece mm-hmm. for all of that. And so, you know, there's a reason like they would carry a chicken purse. I am just not sure why I would carry a mouse pencil case. First well, of all, I don't carry a pencil, let alone multiple pencils. Right. Necessi- necess- yes, the need necessitating. Cre- thank you. Uh-huh. Creating the need for a pencil case. Right. Um, and if I had a pencil case, I'm pretty sure the plastic one I got at the drugstore would really? just be well, fine. Well, it fits better in the folder, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. No, is this one three hole punched? I don't believe Because, you know, is. you can get the old pencil cases. No. Remember, they fit inside your binder. No, it's four foot st- stapled. Uh mm-hmm. Devaney said his initial experiments led him to branch out into larger animals, such as squirrels, moles, and rabbits. He says, I get them from pest control and estate managers. I basically posted on Facebook for asking for help, and I had people getting back with, to me within 10 minutes. He said orders started to flood in after he posted photos of a pencil case that was once a rat on Imager, and the pictures went viral. They're, the most, they're most popular in America, believe it or not. Oh, most popular. They've sold two. Maybe. <laughs> he says he sold them in Norway. Oh, he uh, sold one in Norway. Maybe. <laughs> he says, I think it's great that I've managed to sell any. <laughs> uh, Me too. <laughs> he said, not everyone who contacts him is a potential customer. There have been a varied response, uh, varying from this guy's in that job to where can I get one? And he always says, I'm polite in my response. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You know what? To, if you turn a hobby into a career, yeah, but you know it's only it's, it's only a few short steps between uh, Percy the pet rat and Uncle Joe. No, Uncle oh, Joe yeah. will never be oh, made yeah. into a pencil you, case. You never know. No, hey, no. Have you ever seen those uh, the, the ads for those little motorized coolers? You know, a cooler that has wheels on it and a little steering wheel. You ever seen those? They did a commercial. Uh, I think it was a beer commercial having to do oh, with one okay. of those. Well. Um, <clears throat> in Australia, an Australian man whose joyride on a motorized cooler went viral on Facebook pleaded guilty to a drunk driving charge stemming from the stunt. A lawyer from James Wallace, uh, for James Wallace, 21 years old of Camden, New South Wales, entered a guilty plea Monday to the charge stemming from his intoxicated ride on a beverage cooler that had been outfe- outfitted with wheels and a gas-powered engine. Um, I, I guess... You know, if, if you're going to get on the, uh, the, the the wheels and do your thing, you are now a motorized vehicle, and that's you got to be careful. Right? So, uh, where was I? I think I was at, where was I? I was somewhere, and they had a whole display, not of, like, coolers yeah. that were motorized. But you know those, it's like my grandma used to have one of these. It was like this basket, shopping basket on wheels on a, like a little cart that she would take down to the corner store because right. she would walk. Yeah. And do you remember those? Sure. Like, but I saw like a whole display of them recently. Really? In like the store where well, I they're shop. Making, they're making luggage, uh, motorized suitcases now. I mean, um, it's just taking bring your own bag to yeah, a whole yeah. new level. It's right. kind of what I'm thinking. It really and, is. And so. But if you are walking that thing or riding that thing and uh, you are intoxicated, I you have, are at risk of a DUI. Yeah, you should be. I walked to the grocery store once. Yep. Because usually I drive. Sure. And I while grocery shopping, forgot that I had walked to the grocery store. Oh, somebody stole your car, did they? No, no, no. Oh. 
I walked out with as much groceries as I thought I was going to put into my car. Right. So I had even a couple gallons of milk in there Mm -hmm. along Mm -hmm. with all this other stuff. And it was July and it was hot and it's a 30, 40 minute walk home. Oh my. Oh, it was, I was just a mess. I will never, I've never walked to the grocery store again because I forget. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk and a guest you are not going to want to miss coming up next on the Experience Pros radio show. It's always positive business talk. Back after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community, advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk. 1690 and MoneyTalk1690.com. In America, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Benjamin Franklin and other founding fathers handed us a republic and challenged us to keep it. The challenge remains today, more than 240 years later. The AmeriChicks invite you to call in every weekday afternoon at 5 p.m. to sort through the smoke and mirrors and faux news. Join in to discuss government policies as right versus wrong rather than right versus left. Denver's only female-hosted call-in talk show on your drive home. The AmeriChicks, Kim Monson and Molly Vote weekday afternoons at 5 on KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Have you ever thought you'd like to flip houses but didn't know how or where to get the money? Are you ready to be your own boss so you can start living the good life? Hi, I'm Preston Ely. I used to be so broke. I had my electricity turned off nine times, but I figured out a way to quit my job and find financial freedom in real estate. For a limited time, I want to send you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, how to get rich in real estate. It shows you how to copy exactly what I did so you can make money from the comfort of your own home without even doing any manual labor. I've already given away 5,000 books and they're going fast. To get one before they're gone, call 1-800-500-4309. Listen, if you're sick and tired of stressing about money, this book could change your life. It's short, fun to read, easy to understand, and awesome. To find out how to get your free book while supplies last, call 1-800-500-4309. Call 1-800-500-4309. 1-800-500-4309. This is Albert Moeller for townhall.com. The state of Washington Supreme Court recently handed down a ruling that puts the religious liberty of all Americans at risk. As the Associated Press reports, the Washington Supreme Court ruled unanimously that a florist who refused to provide services for a same-sex wedding broke the state's anti-discrimination law. The florist, Baronel Stutzman, had served the same-sex couple in question many times in the past. What she objected to as a matter of Christian conscience was participation in a same-sex wedding. Stutzman's attorneys argued that flower arranging is an expressive ability that constitutes a form of speech protected by the Constitution under the First Amendment. The Washington court denied this, and we can only ask that if Baronel Stutzman's professional application of her ability as a florist is not speech, and thus is not protected speech, then what about any other form of artistic expression? This is not only a loss for one Washington state florist, it's a loss for every American citizen. I'm Albert Moe. Hi, this is Oren, owner of Absolutely Cabinets. Since 1989, I've sold Aristocrat cabinets for kitchens and baths, and they have proven year in and year out to be a great dollar value. With Aristocraft, you can buy the level of cabinetry you feel comfortable with in regard to construction. If you want all the features without making a decision, I sell Decora, which is a semi-custom line of cabinets with solid wood fronts, dovetail drawers, full extension glides, with soft clothes automatically on drawers and doors. From basic up, I can put you into cabinetry that will fit all your wants and needs. Thanks to all my repeat and referral customers customers over the years. Go visit Oren's showroom at 5940 West 38th Avenue near the corner of Harlan and 38th Avenue or give him a call at 303-425-5592. That's 303-425-5592 or visit absolutelycabinets.com. New store hours are 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday and 8 to noon on Fridays.
This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We do want to interact with you live on the show. The number to call anytime, 855-FANBRAG, 855-326-2724. Angel, in the studio, we have one of my personal heroes. She knows everything about how to make my place look awesome. You know, Eric does complain. He's been complaining for years about his boring apartment, and uh, which has been pretty funny. He hasn't mm. done a darn thing nope. about it. And yesterday, we actually had a really interesting conversation about interior colors and the colors you choose could actually bring less money when you go to sell your home. And just a plain old boring eggshell was one of them. Who knew? So we brought in an even better expert, Jean Dole, an award-winning interior designer, owner of a la carte design, a full service interior design firm that works with homeowners from a simple tweak to a full blown whole house redesign. She specializes in kitchens that cook, even if you don't, and also couples interior design therapy. So if your home needs a lift or a makeover or just doesn't seem to be supporting you physically, emotionally, Jean Dole will help you transform your home. Jean, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. Jean, fantastic having you. Kitchens. Um, that line. And, and we have some friends who uh, absolutely do not cook. But you want a place that's going to feel like the comforts of home. Is, mm-hmm. Isn't that right? Absolutely. I don't cook. But I like a kitchen that looks good. Right. I like a kitchen that makes me feel like I can welcome everyone there and entertain them and have them enjoy being there. And kitchens are the epicenter of entertainment these Absolutely days. Absolutely, they are. Yeah. Right. I love that phrase. Uh, in Sex in the City, I don't know if you ever watched that, but Sarah Jessica Parker's character, yeah. she says, I store sweaters in my <laughs> oven because you know, she didn't cook either. And you and, can pre-warm them. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. On a day like today, that would be absolutely brilliant. All right. So, I mean, it's a kitchen. There's only really so much that you, I think you can do in a kitchen. Jane, am I just completely limited in my thinking? Do you mean so many, act, only so many activities or so, so many much, things regarding design? Like the look and design. Actually, yeah, go there's get them, a Jean. whole <laughs> lot you can do. One of the aspects of my design practice is interior space planning. Mm. So where a homeowner or maybe their contractor or someone can't see the space any differently than it is today. One of my jobs and one of my gifts is to be able to redesign that, to see it as a blank space and be able to turn it into something they probably never imagined it could be. Well, and that that begs the question, Gene, because I am uh, that guy who has a blank space Mm -hmm. and it's been nothing but a blank space (laughs) and I don't know what I want. How do you help me discover something that's amazing i just know i right. don't want this right 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 so certainly part of it is that i come over to see you to yeah. see what other things you surround yourself with noticing maybe pictures that are paintings that you have on the wall i ask you questions about your likes and dislikes i also personally love a tool called house dot com h-o-u-z-z dot com mm. i have a professional page there But it also is literally millions of photographs related to your home. And you can create idea books. You can share those with me that allow you to share visual information with me that is so critical because we're talking about something visual. So it's kind of of like the the people who go to a hairstylist and and point to the picture in the magazine, right? It's a lot like that. I mean, that's what I'm just taking (laughs) components. I'm just taking components of those pictures and then figuring it out, figuring out how to apply it to your space. So we're not trying to do an exact translation, but we're trying to, I'm trying to understand who you are from a visual perspective and you're being able to describe it to me verbally is not really that helpful. It's not going to work. I had a girlfriend who had her kitchen redesigned years ago. Jean and and it was amazing. It was a completely different design where the refrigerator uh-huh. was, the kitchen, like everything yes. was moved. Yeah. And I had asked her, "How did you see this?" She said, "I didn't. Right. I hired somebody who can see this. That is right. an incredible mm-hmm. gift that you can go into a space that is 
pre-designed, right? It has a mm-hmm. look already mm-hmm. and imagine it completely different. And it, it is, it was beautiful and something she said, I could have never got here on my own. And I think that's where most homeowners probably mm-hmm. are because we've lived there. We've seen it this way for years and we can't even begin we can't even begin to see it different. So I love, I just, I just love the gift that you bring to me. That's just, that's just something I love to hear. Is I could never have gotten there on my on own. own well, right? Jane, awesome. let's, let's talk about the people who think they can. Yes. Uh, you know the <laughs> D- DIYers, uh, <laughs> and, 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 right? Yes. Uh, this is one of those things that people think. Well, how hard can it be right. to simply swap out a cabinet or uh, change up a, a sink fixture or something like that? And inevitably, I can repaint my own cabinets. Uh-huh. Right? How long did it take? <laughs> Didn't your husband jump into a project once, and it took a little longer than than you expected? We've um, been we've been putting a <laughs> basement laundry room in my basement for two years now, Jean. Yeah. So with, with it those, got to the demolition demolition stage. With those people <laughs> who who think they can go ahead and do it themselves, how do they avoid costly mistakes? It really is more cost effective to bring somebody like you in who can orchestrate and knows all the vendors and all the mm-hmm. the, the contractors and all, all that, mm-hmm. right? Well, it is. And part of the dilemma for the homeowner is I do it for a living. They're only going to do a project maybe once every couple of years, a kitchen right. maybe once in their lifetime. Right. So they really don't know what all is involved mm-hmm. in making it a success. They don't know what kind of space is required. They don't know what kind, uh, how to um, design it to achieve different aspects. Because right. a kitchen isn't just you cook there, you uh, clean vegetables there, you may do, have kids studying there, you may have dogs eating there, have their bowls on the floor or something like sure. that. So there are lots of things that happen in the kitchen, entertainment as well. Don't forget the disco ball. The disco ball, always a favorite. <laughs> and uh, so they really don't know. Um, I deal with it all the time. So I know what's possible. I know the ergonomics that are involved and that we want to consider theoretically if I do my job right, you don't even know I was there because you move through the space so easily and effortlessly yeah. that right. it's great. And it doesn't matter how many DIY TV shows you watch. You're never going to get all the aspects to not. it. They, they fly through a lot of that. All right. Well, Jean, love what you do. Love how you help and love that you're ready to help our listeners. How do you want them to get in touch with you? They can call me at 303-885-7706 or my email is jtdole at a la carte design.com. Excellent. Excellent. And you've got a, a page on the house I do. website as well. Yes. H-O-U-Z-Z dot com. I do. Excellent. And I have a website also. A la carte. What's the website for a la carte? www.alacartdesign.com. You made it easy Excellent. for everybody. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks so much. Well, well, we have loved having you in there. All right. Well, if you don't cook and you still want your kitchen to make sure you get in touch with a la carte design. And if you need some interior design therapy with your spouse mm-hmm. or your loved one or somebody else who thinks they know what the space should look like, let Jean come in and take control. Yeah. Don't make a costly mistake. Uh, Jean, the number one more time real quick. 303 Five seven seven zero six, And there it is. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk right after these messages. Stay with us. You're listening to Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. This is the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. I'm Tanya Hansen, CNBC. Stocks closed lower, snapping the Dow's 12-day winning streak. The Dow down 25 to 20,812. The Nasdaq off 36. The S&P fell 6. Crude settled down 4 cents to 54.01 a barrel. Target misses the bullseye. Shares plummeted after a surprising drop in sales and a disappointing full-year forecast. Target is suffering as more people choose to shop at online retailers like Amazon. Tesla has crashed through the top 10 in Consumer Reports annual top auto picks. It came in at number eight. The only other American brand to make it was Buick at number 10. Audi, Porsche, BMW, Lexus, and Subaru are the top five. Jeep and Fiat are at the bottom. 
Online brokers posting sharp declines today after Fidelity announced a cut in trading commissions. Charles Schwab matched it. The economy expanded at a slower pace in the quarter, rising just 1.9 percent. Tanya Hansen, CNBC Radio. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community, advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk 1690 and moneytalk1690.com. Do you have glaucoma or high eye pressure? Are your daily eye drops interrupting your life? Local doctors are conducting a clinical research study of an investigational dropless therapy and are in need of participants. You must have glaucoma or high eye pressure in both eyes, be at least 18 years old, and have not had surgery for your glaucoma. Qualified participants will receive study medication at no cost. You will receive regular study-related eye exams by an eye doctor throughout the study. No insurance is needed and compensation is available. For more information and to see if you qualify, please call 844-3-MY-EYES or visit eyecarestudy.com. That's 844-3-MY-EYES or E-Y-E-C-A-R-E study.com. Limited space is available. Call or visit today. Participation is at no cost and compensation for time and travel may be available for qualified participants. Visit iCareStudy.com or call 844-3-MY-EYES today. Hearing aid users are younger and more active than ever before, and the reason may surprise you. Today's hearing aids have become so advanced, they're almost effortless. How effortless? You only change the batteries once a year, not every week. And you never open the battery compartment, even at night. How effortless? You can adjust how loudly and how much background noise you want to hear, right from your phone. And the clarity. Independent studies show that our hearing aids help you to hear better in background noise than people with perfect hearing, automatically. I'm Dr. Barbara Jenkins from Advanced Audiology. For more information about these and other advancements that improve clarity and ease of use, go to advancedaudiology.com or call 303-649-2122. If you have a hearing loss, you know how important these features can be. That's 303-649-2122. At Advanced Audiology, we take your hearing seriously. Do you have serious dental problems that are affecting your self-esteem and peace of mind? Do you know that the health of your mouth can affect your overall health? Dr. Barrett's with Barrett's Dental here to let you know that we can help you. We have many patients who travel great distances to see us for their dentistry. That's because we offer total dental solutions, which means we can handle all aspects of your dental care without sending you from doctor to doctor to doctor, which can add significant time and cost to your treatment. We can often do in one day what might take weeks or even months in other offices. Are you afraid of the dentist? We can do your dentistry while you're sleeping. Wouldn't it be nice to take a pill and wake up with your dentistry done? So if you've been putting off taking care of your complex dental problems, call Barrett's Dental today for a free consultation. I promise we'll take great care of you. But don't take my word for it. Check out our reviews on Google. Call Barrett's Dental today at 303-502-5527 or visit us on the web at denverdentist.com. Hey there, Dan Shakini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. See what our family can do for your family. 800-362-8370. Question, would you seat your three-year-old child on a windowsill? And would you seat them in a car seat that's not the correct one? Secure their future. Seat them in the correct car seat. More info at safefercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. 
Welcome back to the Experience Bros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. You know, uh, we, we almost saw 13 days uh, in a row of positive activity on the Dow, but uh, there's an old adage that says, what goes up? Must come, must come down. down, right? Riding the ups in the market can be exhilarating, but the downs, I don't know about you, but I, my stomach just can't take it. And if you are one of those in or near retirement, it's probably even a tougher. Our next guest says that he had an older colleague who was just about ready to retire, but had to rethink his plans when he experienced that market during town in 2008. And so our guest, Dr. Kenyon Meadows, who is a radiation oncologist and author of Alternative Financial Medicine, mm. High Yield Investing in a Low Yield World, which you can find online at alternativefinancialmedicine.com. He said he actually started doing some researching and learning about alternative investments and places that he could put his money into other than the traditional stocks and bonds that you know so many people count on. Right. So soon... Here's this medical doctor who's right. more accustomed to treating cancer patients. He began investigating such areas as private mortgage lending, income producing uh, rental property, small business lending, all sorts of alternative investment possibilities. And in 2013, he launched Meadows Enterprises with the goal of if, uh, with the goal of investing in high yield alternative assets that weren't connected to the stock market. And he says. There's a lot of risk out there, and it's extremely important that you educate yourself before you start investing. Dr. Kenyon Meadows, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks for having me on, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Dr. Meadows, let, let, let's start here, uh, if you don't mind. Um, you're a doctor, and you are working in the investment. That makes you the most unique person on the planet, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. What, what made you decide to go this direction? Well, you know, as you alluded to in, in your opening there, um, you know, oftentimes it's somebody else's personal story or in our network that, that prompts us to, to change and think about new arenas. And, uh, you know, I had a, a mentor, older colleague of mine who, uh, in his early seventies and was contemplating, uh, retirement from medical practice back in 2008. He was going to retire in December of 08. And as you recall, the market really, you know, fell off the bottom in October of that year. I mean, you know, he's been a, a bad stock market investor all his life, and he saw a big chunk of his of his net worth kind of go up in smoke, right? And so that uh, inspired me to start to think about some other investment arenas that were, you know, not correlated with the stock market, and uh, you know, could provide you know, just a level of diversification uh, above and beyond just you know, picking XYZ stock or XYZ mutual fund. So that was really my, my impetus to start looking at some of these other things. Well, and when you think about, and, you know, I know lots of people have talked about there are, there are alternatives out there, but so often, you know, we this is the one, you know, the stock market, it's the one we've been told about. It's the one we see on the news every single day. Right. And even though we know it's risky, everybody else has been, you know, risking that. And so maybe... You know, we should be just as risky as everybody else. I don't hear as much about these alternative investments. And so because of that, they seem riskier. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, my, my number one thing is, you know, look, I'm, I'm a, I, I call myself an investment enthusiast. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a professional investor and I don't give out advice, but the, 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 the aim of my book and blog and everything is basically just to educate people because what's risky uh, that changes your perception of how risky things are changes the more and more you know about something. Because again, prior to 2013, say for instance, all this other stuff you had seemed very like a black box, you know, but, it, but as I started to learn it all myself and then also, and very importantly, get some mentors, get some real professionals around me, uh, that were doing it every day and, and learn all the salient points of it, it began to look a lot less risky. And, and now a few years into it, you know, have a track record and, you know, gave me the confidence to, to, to write the manuscript and, and, and try to get the word out. Because I think there's a lot more people, average everyday investors, you know, like myself, who might have participated in some of this stuff if they just had more of a high profile, uh, a la the stock market and sure. our 401ks that everybody else knows about. Our guest is Dr. Kenyon Meadows. Uh, he's the author of a book called The Alternative Financial Medicine, High Yield Investing in a Low Yield World. Uh, you can find out more about that book and perhaps pick up a copy for yourself or two 
alternativefinancialmedicine.com. All right, doctor, give us give us a couple of examples. What what are some uh, better alternative investments? Well, you know, I, I think it was, well, I'll I'll say different, okay? Because you know, better is a matter of perspective. Right? <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, but you know, say for instance, if you look for something that, okay, in contrast to, to like say for instance, the stock market, which you know. Quite honestly, the last year or so has been on a nice tear and going up. Sure. But again, you know, we know that it's probably due for a correction, right? And, and when that's going to happen, we don't have much control over. So, you know, the, the first foray into the alternatives for me was what we call private mortgage lending, okay? And what that is, is you guys remember kind of particularly back before the 2008 financial crisis, all the flip these house type shows and all the rage on the home and garden. Well, right. So when a house flipper goes to uh, you know buy a project and flip it and everything, if he doesn't have the money to do it on his own, he oftentimes reaches out to private individuals to basically provide short-term, generally six to eighteen months loans to buy and fix up the property. And the the appeal to an investor like myself is that you can often charge, oftentimes charge a very nice interest rate on that loan on the order of 10, 12, 14% even. And if the flip deal has enough profit in it, the, 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 the rehabber or flipper can afford to pay you that on a short-term basis, which makes for a nice yield for you. And uh, again, provided the project works out, you know, you'll make profit on the flip on the back end. So private mortgage lending was, was really my first foray into something that was truly an alternative. And compared to, uh, you know, the 1%, if that, that I was earning with, with my savings in the bank, you know, the opportunity to earn a double digit return and had it secured, uh, by the property itself, uh, that, that was pretty attractive to me. So I, I consider that to be a pretty, pretty strong alternative thing yeah, to do. Kenyon, one of the things, you know, we're always told is it's, you know, it's a, it's a long term plan. It's not short term, right. you know, and so there will be ups and there will be downs, but over the long haul, do you feel as if the alternative investments have that same longevity? They're going to be in it for the long haul, or is this just you know right now for the next five to ten years? Maybe you know look at some alternatives. Well, when you, when you look at the, the specific asset classes covered in my book, and and my, my book is sort of a it's kind of an overview, as it were, um, of, of a lot of different things that I've delved into. So private mortgage lending, say for instance. That's actually an alternative investment that's got a really, really long track record. I mean, people have been doing this for a long, long time, sure. okay? Now, in contrast, there's some newer emerging things that are mentioned in the book, like real estate crowdfunding and, and peer-to-peer lending. Now, those are very new things. And I, and I emphasize that because they don't have as much of a track record, um, you know, that, that's even more caution that should be exercised before getting into them. But again, private mortgage lending actually does have a very, very long track record. So I'd be definitely comfortable, comfortable recommending that. Well, you know, Dr. Meadows, it, it is uh, amazing what you have done and put together, and it's a great resource for our listeners. Would you uh, give some contact information? I've already given your website, alternativefinancialmedicine.com, but is there a place where people can follow you as well? Well, yeah, so the, the website is, is, is uh, the primary, and as of today, as of today, 228.17, the book is available, both ebook and uh, soft cover on uh, Amazon as well. Very, very nice. All right. Get a copy of the book. In fact, I always recommend getting two, one for you and one for somebody that you know that you know needs it. The book is called Alternative Financial Medicine, High Yield Investing in a Low Yield World by Dr. Kenyon Meadows. Uh, Dr. Dr. Meadows, uh, a final word of, of uh, inspiration and or uh, leadership for the folks who are tuned in now? Well, I, I would say this. Um, you know, no one's going to care about your money more than you, uh, including even your, your financial advisor that you might be paying uh, to do so. So I, I would encourage everyone to, to get their financial literacy up. Um, if my book can help, great. But just in general, uh, learn. There are plenty of, uh, of ways to uh put your money to use and, and, and get some financial freedom. Mm. Well, very, very impressed with the direction you saw, you know, you saw something that you needed to learn. And even as a doctor, you can still, you can still learn fabulous new things. Dr. Kenyon Meadows, thanks so much for being with us today. And folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk just ahead. 
That's what you've come to expect from the Experience Pros radio show. While we're in this break, go check out experiencepros.deals.com. It's a great way to get some great items for 40 to 90% off. We'll be back right after these messages. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Imagine what you do with an extra thousand or two in your account every single month. Attend a free class to learn what the Wall Street boys hope you'll never find out. If you call now, the Online Trading Academy will comp the class and even send you home with a free $247 home study course. And then you could start making your dreams a reality. Call 866-816-1918. 866-816-1918. Call 866-816-1918. That's 866-816-1918. Tune in to Money Talk KDMT 1690 every Saturday at noon for the best advice on building that nest egg. You'll hear expert advice on feathering your nest, caching resources for the future, and going for the gold finches with a show that can put a little more green in your day-to-day living. While they may not be Wall Street wizards, they are the wizards of wildlife. And if you'd like to add these beautiful colors and melodies songs of wild birds to your portfolio, listen to Bird Talk Saturdays at noon on 1690 KDNT, presented by Wild Birds Unlimited. David and Scott Menno will enrich your life with tips on attracting birds, butterflies, bats, bees, and other things that don't start with the letter B. The Bird Brothers will bring you fascinating interviews, nature news, insights on building the best wild bird habitat, and we hope to bring you a smile and a chuckle or two as well. So listen to Bird Talk every Saturday at noon, right here on Money Talk. Talk 1690 KDMT. I'm John Baggett, the general sales manager at Salem Media Group in Denver. Salem Media is a leading broadcaster of conservative news talk business and Christian programming. In Denver, that's News Talk 710 KNUS, Christian Teach Talk Stations 947 KRKS FM and KRKS 990 AM, 1650 KBGD Christian Talk Radio in Spanish, and 1690 KDMT Denver's Money Talk. We're growing and we're looking for a great account executive to join our team. Do you have a proven track record of commissioned sales and media? Do you want to work for an organization on a mission to serve the community? Are you creative with good communication and computer skills? Are you passionate about helping businesses succeed? Then consider joining our Denver team. We offer great benefits at Salem, including paid holidays, 401k, medical, dental, vision, and more. We're looking for someone with a minimum of two years media sales experience, please. Find details and apply online at salemmedia.com. Click on careers, then click account executive Denver. That's salemmedia.com, careers, account executive Denver. How many businesses have been around since 1947? How many have grown thanks to word of mouth, satisfied customers, and decades of experience? Anderson's Vacuum has been Denver's number one choice for vacuums since 1947. They sell and service all major brands, including Miele, Sibo, and Oric. Get unmatched personal service and the benefit of an extremely experienced staff. Visit Anderson's Vacuum in Inglewood, where you can demo every vacuum. Try them out. See what works for you online at andersonsvacuum.com. Are you concerned about outliving your money? How would you like to have guaranteed growth and a lifetime of income you could never outlive? Join Brett Roby for the Retirement and Income Radio Show on Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. You can also call Brett Roby now for your free customized safe information money kit and 115-page safe money book at 866-780-7233, 866-780-SAF. Hi, this is Andrew Stone. After I was injured in a rear-end collision in Boulder, I called attorney Jeremy Cave for help. I can honestly say Jeremy worked day and night to get me what I was entitled to. Unlike a lot of attorneys today, Jeremy puts the personal in personal injury. He relieved me of stress and was there for me every step of the way. Cave Law understands that many of you who listen to this station prefer to have a lawyer who sees things from your point of view. I found it with Cave Law. I think it's time to put the personal back into handling personal injury. Call Jeremy Cave today at 720-213-37. Jeremy Cave only gets paid when you do. Call Cave Law now for a free at-home consultation, 720-213-3737. If you're injured in an accident, call 720-213-3737 or check out his brand new website, cavelawyer.com. That's cavelawyer.com. Personal and caring service from Cave Law. Call Jeremy today, 720-213-3737. 
I can't say that. But we can. Sometimes you just can't write the words you want to say or find the right words to express your feelings. But we can. We are the right words. The people who help turn your thoughts into words so you can speak your mind. Too shy to ask that special person out? Try us. We're good at that. Love, hate, revenge, laughter. We're the right words, bringing you the words that make saying the hardest things easier. Learn more at therightwords250.com. W-R-I-T-E, therightwords250.com. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer having more fun than probably we ought to. And thanks to our friends who are watching by way of our Facebook live stream on <laughs> Right, It looks like, so you need to probably know something about Angel. Yeah. And that is, I sneeze. All the time. She's a sneezy dwarf. I am. I am sneezy. If mm-hmm. I was, I, I sneeze all the time, all day long. And uh, one of the things that I remember one of our old producers noticed yeah. is I never, I would never, I never sneezed on the air. Right. As soon as a commercial break, like, there, you go. there I would go. But it never happened while I was on the air. Of I don't course, believe you can say that any longer. Of course, I had not noticed that fact. Of right. An observer had paid attention to that well if you were observing the live video it might have looked like i just <laughs> fell off my chair because <laughs> and when i sneeze i'm not one of those little you know little petite sneezers it goes Achoo! and you know like <laughs> did something just happen over there oh no no when i sneeze i sneeze from my toes and yeah. it's like this whole body and they just get i just i don't know more violent as i get older and my dad, my dad is one of those that will just sneeze like 12 times in a row. It's yeah, really freaky. Right. And I see, you know, it used to be I would always sneeze three times. Now sometimes it's four. And again, as I get older, but I never would sneeze on the air, which was this weird psychological phenomenon. Yeah. Like if it really is this random physical thing, then why didn't it happen when I was on the air? Well, happened just now, last segment, yeah. two times. And, and Charles, who was watching it, said, did Angel just fall off her chair? Nope. She's nope. just sneezing. Sneezing while on the air. You know, and that's ho- just lovely. Hopefully I covered for you. Uh, yes. No, you did. Fantastic. Away. And around my house and around, it's just, it's just a thing, right? Nice. You know, yeah. there goes Angel. Angel just sneezing right. again. I'm, I'm, I'm not, there's, <laughs> I, I'm obviously allergic to something, everything Wait and anything, minute. right? She's looking at me weird. No, no. <laughs> we know. I've. I'm allergic to you. And when we first yeah. started in this brand new studio, yeah. I there was obviously something in here that my body wasn't used to. Sure. I was you sneezed quite a bit. A lot of yeah. sneezing, but now it's it's down to just well, a few times an hour. Listener Nick says you blew yourself away, and <laughs> uh, and uh, he, he also says he's got an allergy to uh, to to poor service. Of course, he offers amazing service. We know listener mm-hmm. Nick very well. And uh, the final right. thing he says is. Sup, Wings. Sup, Nick. All he, right. He does. He calls me Wings. He is actually in the running in the top 10 for the fan bragging contest it that is, is going on right now, which is pretty exciting for you, Nick. Congratulations. All right. There's some leadership rules that, uh, you know, I think for most of us, we want to be good leaders. Right. right? We want to do the right thing. We want to be motivating and inspiring and cast that vision for our team and have people look to us and follow us. Uh, but according to success.com, they say there's actually some leadership rules that were meant to be broken. Rules that were meant to be broken? Yes. And if I anybody was going to break it. them, it would be Eric. Yes. Uh, here's a quote from General Douglas MacArthur. He says, rules are mostly made to be broken and are too often for the lazy to hide behind. General MacArthur. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, right? Rules, no, rules are good. I, I'm a rule follower. My son, oh my gosh, incredible rule follower. When he was little, he was three, maybe four, maybe two. We'd go to the McDonald's Playland. Yeah. And if he would see a little kid in there without their socks on, because you're supposed to wear your socks in the ball pit or whatever, he would go up and tell their mom that they took their socks off. Oh. Like, okay, Michael. You, you, we we have we do the rules at our house, yeah. right? Okay, right. so here's here's some rules that according to success dot com that might need to be broken. Uh, fake it till you make it. He says, I'm not sure who 
who I first heard say this. Yep. And I myself, who actually wrote this? It doesn't say. He says, I'm, I myself have said it a few dozen times since then. In my earlier career as a copier sales guy, this sort of worked. It meant acting as if I knew what I was doing and showing confidence even when I was scared and unsure. He says, when you're learning to make door-to-door cold calls, it's probably pretty valuable advice. And if I could fake it long enough, I might just sell a copy year or two. Sure. He says, but what's good for early career sales is toxic for leadership. I agree. He says, employees today have lived much, if not all of their lives, in a world colored by spin and scandal. To survive, we've all learned to spot a phony a mile away. And for that reason, trying to fake it as a leader is deadly. When you're unsteady and uncertain, it's far better to acknowledge it than trying to pretend. Showing vulnerability and a willingness to ask for help when you need it is a sign of strength that creates loyalty. Yeah, we're not big fans of the whole fake it till you make it thing. No, he says be authentic. Yeah, that's it. Be be, be who you are and work yourself to the bone. All right, next rule of leadership that is meant to be broken is only recognizing the top performers on your team. He said when he was growing up, he loved playing basketball, spent countless hours playing and practicing. He says, I played and I practiced and I played and I practiced. There was only one problem. I wasn't very good. So in the summers, he would attend basketball camps. And at the end of each camp, the coaches would give out awards. He said, I was never the highest scorer or the leading rebounder. My stats never added up to much. And despite that, on a couple of occasions, he was actually given the hustle trophy. He says, I am so proud of those awards. Um, They represented that despite my limited abilities, I had outworked everyone else on the floor with me and my coaches valued my effort. And so even though you might have a wide array of employees, some that are that top performer, everybody on the team, and this isn't, you know, there's an element of this. It kind of sounds like we give everybody a participation ribbon for showing up. (laughs) I don't, this isn't that. No, it's not. This is just recognizing that even the people behind the scenes, even no matter what position they hold, they might not be the front line. They might not be the sales star. They contributed to your success. All of them. And they need they, they need the recognition. They, they yearn for the recognition. And, and you know that's how you motivate your team is that public recognition in front of right. their peers for the part that you played. Yes. Not you showed up in a participation, but... The, the front line can't do it without the back line. Yep. And while you guys are, in, you know, back there keeping the website running or, you know, keeping the coffee pot full, whatever the, the role is that you play is a valuable part. And so giving that hustle award uh, is very valuable. Yep, and absolutely. then finally, he says, never be friends with the people you supervise. He says, I can't confirm this, but it probably came uh, from an existence during the gold age golden age of right sizing and downsizing starbucks uh had that as a mantra for years right. do not go out with the people that you lead just don't get too attached uh to people as as a manager but he says that's a terrible rule a terrible to follow rule. today that employee engagement is the emotional and mental connection that an individual feels with the work and the people they work with that's exactly right all right we've got to take a quick break for the top of the hour news And when we come back, we've got all kinds of good stuff. It's positive business talk right here on the Experience Pros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries, Angel Tussie and Eric Raver. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencepros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Pros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KDMG of Out of Denver. From small business to big business, it's all our business. Then there's Money Talk, 1690 AM. I'm Tom Busby, CNBC. The streak is over with retailer stocks under pressure, a tepid reading on fourth quarter U.S. economic growth, and some jitters ahead of President Trump's address to Congress tonight. Stocks end the day lower, and the Dow's 12-day win streak is done. Today, the Dow fell 25 points. The Nasdaq down 36 
Shares of Target, the biggest decliners, they tumbled 12% and brought down shares of other big retailers. Sales fell again last quarter and it lowered its full year earnings outlook. But the chain is promising to spruce up stores, build more stores in cities and near colleges, and even lower prices further. The U.S. economy grew at a pace of just 1.9% in the final quarter of last year, which is less than what economists were hoping to see because businesses and governments spent a little less money. Consumer spending, though, was a little higher. Now, the news today wasn't all bad, though. Consumer sentiment rising in February to a 15-year high. I'm Tom Busby, CNBC. No, Samsung kitchen appliances aren't just beautifully designed. They're beautifully priced, too. Yeah, well, how, uh, how beautiful are we talking here? Up to $1,500 off a four-piece kitchen package. That, that is beautiful. And you can purchase in-store now. Samsung, bring it home. Offer valid February. Interview? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Chad, we are ready. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready, Aaron? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. One. When do I get paid? Hi, this is Angel and coming up on the next Experience Pros Radio Show. Is it weekly or bi-weekly? We're going to give you the answers you should ask during a job interview. <clears throat> I'm sorry, how much are you going to pay me? Positive Business Talk weekday afternoons right here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Do I get paid for this interview? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you say? He's going to leave the chuckle in. President Trump will make his first address to a joint session of Congress this evening. House Speaker Paul Ryan says the president's speech comes at a time of unique opportunity. We can fix our health care system so that costs go down and choices go up. We can fix our broken tax code so that rates go down and growth goes up. We can fix our regulatory system so that it protects us instead of punishes us. And we can secure our border and rebuild our military for the 21st century. On the health care plan, however, three conservative senators, Mike Lee of Utah, Rand Paul of Kentucky, and Ted Cruz of Texas, said they would resist a plan they describe as Obamacare light. They say they'll accept nothing less than full repeal. Meanwhile, President Trump appeared on this morning's Fox and Friends to say he believes President Obama has something to do with the raucous protests against Republican lawmakers across the country. I think that President Obama is behind it because his people are certainly behind it. And some of the leaks possibly come from that group. Forecasters say a large part of the central United States faces an increased risk for significant tornadoes, including some overnight in a late winter storm system. The Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, says severe storms could impact 44 million people today in an area stretching from Arkansas to Ohio. The FBI is confirming for the first time that it is investigating as a hate crime last week's Kansas bar shooting that killed an Indian man and wounded another. The FBI says it bases that probe on the initial investigative activity involving the February 22nd attack at Austin's Bar and Grill in Olathe, Kansas. Witnesses to the shooting said suspect Adam Purrington yelled, get out of my country at the two Indian men before opening fire. One of the men was killed and the other was wounded. A down day on Wall Street as the Dow dropped 25 points to 20,812. The Nasdaq lower by 36. The S&P declined six. More on these stories at townhall.com. This is Michael Medved, and for well over a year, you've heard me talking about Relief Factor, the natural solution for people struggling with chronic pain like back, neck, shoulder, hip, knee, or general muscle aches and pains. Thousands of listeners have told us all about their amazing results and dramatically lowering or eliminating their pain. So I'm sending my personal friends and radio listeners to relieffactor.com to order the three-week quick start for only $19.95. That's relieffactor.com. Is negative content or comments on the web affecting your personal or professional reputation? Unfavorable comments, embarrassing pictures, videos, legal documents, and bad tweets can ruin your personal life, your career, or your business. Reputation.com can protect your good name. It's easy to squash the unfair attacks with our patented system. Call right now for a free expert reputation analysis. Call 800-651-4888. 800-651-4888. Business. 
business never takes a break. Neither do we. So, take Denver's Money Talk 1690 AM with you with our brand new mobile app. Stay up to the minute with breaking news, market strategies, current trends, and more wherever you are. With live streaming, listen to your favorite Money Talk shows whenever you want, on demand. It's like a personal advisor in your pocket. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Download the brand new Money Talk app on iTunes or the Google Play Store or at MoneyTalk1690.com. Hi, this is Clyde with Windows America. Help us celebrate our 15th year helping Denver homeowners improve their homes. A-plus rating with the BBB, award-winning contractor with Angie's List. There has never been a better time to buy windows. The technology of glass and windows has come so far. Right now, we're giving away a free dinner for two with every qualifying estimate. Call us at 1-877-WINDOWS for your free estimate or go to our website, windowsam.com. 1-877-WINDOWS or go to our website, windows am.com you're listening to the experience pros radio show the most positive business talk show in america best-selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the extreme customer service directory angel tussie and eric raymer are inspiring you to get your business right they know the customer experience isn't just another thing it's the only thing Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. And uh, thank you to our good friends who are watching by way of our Facebook Live, telling us that our microphone was hot during the break. Uh, Welcome to the behind the scenes. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, How how hot was the microphone? Sometimes that happens. Hot enough to uh, have somebody in Dallas, Texas say we can hear you. Hmm. There you have it. Thank mm-hmm. you, Don. We appreciate that. And hello to Carrie Conley, who's given us a shout out from Phoenix. And we appreciate all of you for tuning in. Hey, while you're there, mash that uh, share button and let other people know that there's something positive happening in the world of business. Um, you know, it, it's it's one of those things, uh, Angel, that sometimes uh, the, the silliest little thing, right, that the microphone being on goes on. The good news is we never say anything that's like uber embarrassing. Are you kidding? I was talking about sneezing. Sneezing. And <laughs> yeah. I, I can't, you know what? It was so three minutes ago. I don't even know what we were talking <laughs> right. about. But it's it's one thing I know. I know in my head, yeah. it's not, you know, nothing bad happened. Right. But it's really odd to think that when you weren't thinking you were being recorded and broadcasting that you were welcome to the world of, and we uh, should just always, and this is, this is one of the things that uh, we were warned early on. That's right. Is just to always imagine that the microphones are hot, but you don't, but you don't, you, you know, you just kind of go on and you just are having these random little thoughts and these conversations that really mean nothing because you think nobody's listening. And then you find out they are. You've got listeners and we're grateful for them. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, All three of the major U.S. markets are down today, closed down. Uh, The Dow closed down 25 points to 20,812. Uh, NASDAQ closed 36 and a half points down to a close of 58.25. And the S&P 500 closed six points down to 23.63.64. And there's just a whole lot of red all over the screen. Uh, so a couple of, a couple of big, big winners. Um, at, uh, all, I don't know how to pronounce this. Albemarle, Albemarle Corp up almost 10 points. Priceline up five and a half. Archer Daniels Midland uh, 3.53. I can't think of Arch- Archer Daniels Midland without thinking of the late great Paul Harvey, a uh, big advertiser on his program for years and years and years. But uh, down day, we did not hit 13 days in a row of positive territory, which would have been a record. Uh, but, you know, what goes up comes down and it'll be back, I'm pretty sure. Um, Urban Airship becomes the first mobile wallet provider to offer single tap loyalty rewards with Apple Pay. This allows a user to update loyalty rewards with the same tap to pay or sign up with a second tap. So, you you know, when it's all about mobile engagement and people using their technology, do you you use your phone to get your uh, lattes or whatever? 
And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I don't. I don't actually have the app installed or, or any of Which that. Which is so surprising yeah. uh, for as often as you go to the coffee shop uh-huh. and they do reward that loyalty right. that you've never participated in that. You know, I, I played when I was an employee of that big company uh, on the, uh, the West Coast. I, I played and I, I had a gold card membership. I was a, a man. I had it all going on. And then they started changing the rules and doing the things, and I kind of fell out of uh, interest in the whole deal. Because they changed, they moved your cheese. They moved my cheese. They moved your cheese. Isn't that how we all are, right? It's all good. And even if the change is good, it's change. And don't change on me because I'm going to leave. So now in the meantime, for the last five years or seven years or whatever, because you just kind of get like, you stiff up her lip and go, well, they changed it and I'm not going to play. I don't now get to take advantage of uh, all the good stuff that actually has come along, even though I still shop there on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, Have you ever found a dollar bill, a $20 bill uh, laying in the street or found one in my my pocket? No, 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 not yours, but somebody had dropped Spare change. You, you know, I guess I if you go down so. to a penny, but that would be kind of I mean, I, found, I yeah. have found a penny. I've sure. even found a quarter. Okay. All right. So we're, we're moving in the right, right direction. But I don't know that I've ever found any no. dollar bills of I, any denomination. I found a $5 bill once uh, in the sidewalk very close to a storm gate. And uh, I, I, I picked it up and looked around and, and put it in my pocket. There's nobody around. Um, I mean, if somebody – I mean, I have watched people – drop something out of their pocket, like at the grocery store, sure. or, you know, where they're, you know, fussing, you know, getting their keys out, like at the parking lot. and put it in your pocket? No, no, no. Yeah. Like you see who it is and yeah. like you, dro- you dropped it. Right. I probably didn't even pick it up. By the way, you dropped this and, and then they got their stuff. I've, I've seen that. Yeah. Why, why do you ask? Because in England, a woman wound up in court after keeping a 20 pound banknote that she found in her local convenience store walking around in the convenience store and uh, picked up a bill, 20 pounds, which is about 30 bucks. Okay. And uh, she picked it up, looked around. Nobody seemed to be around, so she put it in her pocket. But the uh, staff member saw who had dropped it a few minutes earlier. Okay. And I don't know whether they were still in the store or not, didn't say. But... um, Watched the other lady pick up the bill. Okay. And called the police. She put the bill in her pocket. And then she was arrested for She was arrested because the staff checked the CCTV, uh, the the closed circuit TV. Is that really stealing if you find something on the ground? In England, apparently it is. I mean, you should know the rules and you should know the law. And if that's the law, then that's the law. Then don't pick up money that's not yours. Now, here's here's the other side of the story. Um, The lady, when... You know, called into question and says, "Hey, you picked up that that twenty pound bill." Denied picking it up. Oh, she lied. She did, and it was on camera. She said she didn't know know who the money belonged to. People don't realize that picking up something you found amounts to theft. So says the litigator involved in right. the case. She has been quite naive in doing so. She was given a six month conditional discharge. Forced to pay a total of 175 pounds in court costs and charges. And wow. So, so if you pick it up, that's fine. Yeah. But you can't lie about no, it. Well, you, and the moral of the story is you should return it to the authorities, do, uh, to, yeah. to the local. You really, you really uh, should. You should take person. it to the front, yeah. de- the, the front desk. If, right. you're, if, if you're in a store yes. anywhere, you should, you should return it. Um, but if you find it in a parking lot, like, like where does the li- where's the line? Like well, if I find it outside, I'm pretty sure the the line was finders keepers, <laughs> losers weepers. That's what we learned. That's what we learned in growing school, up, right? right? Does it not apply here? But if that's yeah, if it doesn't, if that's not the rule, if that's not the law, ignorance is no excuse, right? That's what they say as well. And I don't know, right? It's, yeah. Hmm. It's just you know you wonder if uh, if if we could be in, in trouble um, just for, for doing well. It's very rare. Innocent. It's very rare that you find money. Um, 
but to be in that much trouble over finding and picking something up off the ground. Right. But think about this. If you found somebody's wallet, you would have returned it. If you found somebody's purse, you would have returned it. Somebody's jacket, somebody's car key, somebody's sure. cell phone. Right? So this well, is just no as much value their me. property as losing an item well, uh, such as that. It's basically just an IOU. But, it's, but it's, finding, you know, because there's no identification on it, it we should all now like have our little money with a, in our little money clip with our picture in and contact information. Like there's no way to know who the money really belongs right. to. Um, and so then you go up, then you, you know, you go up to the front desk and say, I found something on the ground that right. I think belongs to somebody. Did anybody drop something? Well, what did you find? Nay, nay. No, it's not how that works. <laughs> you tell me what I'll they... I'll stand here until right. you let me go. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And finally, this in the news. Uh, a, <laughs> I love this story. <laughs> a self-proclaimed taco journalist from Texas has launched a petition to make tacos the state's official food. His name is Mando Rayo. He co-authored a book co- titled Tacos of Texas, and he shared a petition on the organization called Change.org to have the state of Texas adopt tacos as its official state food. Let's make tacos the official food of Texas. Whether you grew up here in Texas or you get here as soon as you could, or you got here as soon as you could, you're eating tacos. In Texas, people eat tacos on a weekly basis. Heck, tacos were here before Texas was Texas. So step aside, Chili. Tacos are here to stay. I want to meet this man and see if we can get him on the radio. That'd be good. Hey, we'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages, folks. Please don't go anywhere. Thank you for tuning in to this, the most positive business talk show in America. Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Hey there, Dan Cicchini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. Right, Todd? Of course, Dad. With our unique cabinet resurfacing, they'll get that beautiful new kitchen. And without the mess and expense of replacement. And in a shorter time, too. Boy, you've got that right, Todd. But if an all-new kitchen is on their wish list, we'll build it from the bottom up, first rate all the way. And let's not forget that very special room, the bath. What about that? Well, hey, turning leaky, moldy, smelly baths into awesome rooms... That's what we do. Whether it's a tub to shower conversion or a whole new five piece bath, our family business will make it special, just like we've done for decades. Okay, Todd. So, folks, give us a call and see what our family can do for your family. Kitchens, baths, counters, and floors, and even replacement windows and doors, you have our word, we'll treat you right at Dunright. 303 722 2295, 800 362 8370, or dunrightkitchens.com. Tune in to Money Talk KDMT 1690 every Saturday at noon for the best advice on building. Building that nest egg. You'll hear expert advice on feathering your nest, caching resources for the future, and going for the gold finches with a show that can put a little more green in your day to day living. While they may not be Wall Street wizards, they are the wizards of wildlife. And if you'd like to add these beautiful colors and melodious songs of wild birds to your portfolio, listen to Bird Talk Saturdays at noon on 1690 KDMT, presented by Wild Birds Unlimited. David and Scott Menno will enrich your life with tips on attracting birds, butterflies, bats, bees, and other things that don't start with the letter B. The Bird Brothers will bring you fascinating interviews, nature news, insights on building the best wild bird habitat, and we hope to bring you a smile and a chuckle or two as well. So listen to Bird Talk every Saturday at noon right here on Money Talk 1690 KDMT. When you've worked with every vacuum brand known for over six decades, you learn a thing or two. Anderson's Vacuum in Inglewood has been repairing vacuums of all kinds since 1947. They carry over $1 million worth of vacuums and parts, and you can't put a price on the experience. That service has grown to include central vacuums, steamers, lamps, and sewing machines. Want to be impressed? Visit Anderson's Vacuum in Inglewood. Want to be blown away? Put them to the test. Find them at andersonsvacuum.com. 
Hi, I'm Carrie Gesmus, Area Manager with Fairway Independent Mortgage. Have you noticed the mortgage ads lately? Companies that used to advertise low, low rates and savings of hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on your refinance have suddenly become purchase experts. At Fairway, we've always been purchase experts. We offer our qualified, pre-approved buyers a 20-day purchase guarantee from contract to close. In Colorado's competitive real estate market, a quick closing can be the difference between owning a home you love or dragging your search out for months. Apply from your computer or mobile device online through our easy application process. Unlike other companies, we won't leave you floating alone in a gravity-free room. Our local team of loan officers walks with you every step of the way to qualify and close on your dream home. Learn more about our 20-day closing guarantee and your home loan options by calling 303-214-9071 or visit us online at fairwaymortgagecolorado.com. Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS number 2289, is an equal housing lender. This is not an offer to enter into an agreement. Not all customers will qualify. Information rates and programs are subject to change without notice. All products are subject to credit and property approval. A pre-qualification is not an approval of credit and does not signify that underwriting requirements have been met. Branch NMLS number 1122559. Regulated by the Colorado Division of Real Estate. Are you tired of exposing your retirement to stock market risk? How would you like to participate in stock market gains but never stock market losses? Join Brett Roby for the Retirement and Income Radio Show on Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. You can also call Brett Roby now for your free customized safe information money kit and 115-page safe money book. Call 866-780-7233. 866-780-SAFE. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. We do want to interact with you live on the show. There's lots of ways that you can do that. You can call us at 855-FANBRAG. That's 855-326-2724. And when you do, you can uh, immediately participate. If you'd like to say something about one of the topics that we're talking about, jump in. You're welcome and invited. Or if you would prefer to uh, leave what we call is uh, as a fan brag, a fan brag is saying something nice, positive about somebody else in business. We welcome that interaction as well. In fact, if we don't have a guest on the line, we will actually stop everything and take that fan brag because we believe it to be one of the most game-changing elements to small business development that has ever hit the airwaves. We've been doing it for almost eight years, fan brag and Friday, but you don't have to wait till Friday. You can call right now, 855-FAN-BRAG. Say something nice about somebody else in business and, and make somebody's day. Always, always super. Super easy and super fun. Of course, every Friday we fill up the phone lines, open them up just for those fan bragging calls. And right now the fan bragging contest is in full swing. Hopefully you are participating. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, one of the things that I know a lot of a lot of business owners try to create is how do I get those online reviews? Right. How do I get people to say something nice? You know, they've had a good experience with me. How do I how do I get those online reviews? Well, you never have to worry about it again once you're a a member of the Experience Pros Network because through our process, we get you those online reviews, dozens. In fact, we have a couple of uh, members who have hundreds of online reviews from their customers. You know, Angel, I was talking to somebody this morning and uh, they said to me that in the 17 years of having the business that they have, that they can only point to maybe a handful, maybe, maybe five or 10 people who have ever, ever, ever found them by way of online reviews. And I immediately came back and I said, you missed the point. They can find you by word of mouth. They can find you because somebody likes you or doesn't like you. They can find you in a headline or wherever else you need to be found. But once they find you, what will they find out about, about you. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not the first line, the first entry no. into your doorstep, no. right? Are the online reviews. But before I hire you, before I choose to do business with you. You better believe they check out who you are and what other people are saying about you. Does a, does a, a word of mouth referral uh, benefit you and your business? Absolutely. But it doesn't trump. It, it doesn't trump. It does I still, not. yeah, that's. 
that's a great way. That's a great introduction. Right. But I am still going to go and, and look online. I'm reminded of a time when uh, we actually had somebody um, in within our membership network who had a great experience at a dental office that they were attending. And so they came to us and said, Eric and Angel, I think this dental office would be a phenomenal addition to uh, the Experience Pros membership network. And I said, I'd be happy to, to do what we do. We, we do something called vetting and approving. We vet across 16 layers of um, what's out there, what, what your customers are saying about you, all in the public domain. And I, I did this vetting and approving, and I don't know how else to say it, but there was a massive amount of blood in the water when it came to this dentist and his practice, and nobody except our friend has had a great experience with this guy. And I had to go back and say, ah, I don't think we can extend the invitation to this guy because he's got horrible reviews. And so you can have a great experience and even make a referral. But if that's not the, the, if that's not what everybody's saying, it's going to show up. It is. It is. So check it out. Sign up today for your free online listing over at experiencepros.com. Yep. All right, so some small business practices, best practices. Of course, we all know that running and scaling a business can be challenging. So the Young Entrepreneurs Council has gotten together once again. Love those guys. Uh, to give us some tips on some best small business practices. And the first one they recommend is setting team expectations. David Schwartz with EMM Dever. Uh, which is uh, also in wireless watchdogs. He says setting proper team expectations and accountability has become one of the most impactful things to my business. Mm. He says twice a month, we bring all the managers and the executives together to discuss each department, uh, their accomplishments, their challenges. It's also time for the other departments to give feedback. But at the end of these meetings, everybody knows what's expected, where That's we're right. going, what we're doing, why we're doing it. Who's following up. And 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 their role in in all of that. I think setting expe- expectations is huge. The second one is uh, brought to us by Travis Steffen of Cyber Superpowers. He says, manage without ego. Many CEOs, COOs, executive level staff have various methods that they swear are the best ways of doing things. But what many people don't take into account is that there are other variables at work, such as the dynamics of the company and the people within it. Solid operations come from management who can admit when their systems are failing and are willing to change in order to improve. Oh, that is that is huge. Solid. Some other best small practices comes from Michael Quinn from Yellow Bridge Interactive. He says, make sure you have clear processes, probably yes. simple processes. You want your business to be a success Make sure that everything you do is set up into a system or a process that doesn't wait for you to just feel like it or be in the mood to do. He says having a clear process that every team member understands is extremely important. He said there needs to be a clear funnel, an order of operations that must be followed. This improves efficiency and reduces the chance of fumbling information and having things slip through the cracks. Absolutely. Uh, Rob Fulton of Matikas says, create a foolproof foundation. He says, you got to start at the very base of your, your business in order to build a successful enterprise from it. And for me, that means having a solid core team. And, you know, when, when we talk about developing a foundation, if it's going to sustain growth, it has to be strong enough to manage whatever grows out of it. So your people are critical. Hey, and a lot of this is, I mean, it's it's people and processes. Right. In fact, we used to, we used to work with a, a company called Navig- well, Navigating the Growth Curve was the book. What was the name of the business? The, the Growth Curve. Uh, the Growth Curve Institute. Institute. Yeah. And he talked about, you know, there's three kind of elements to your business. There's the right. people, there's the the processes, and then there's the profit. That's right. And, and in different times of your business, different seasons, you're focusing on one of those more so than the other two. Absolutely. And it's a natural cycle where where one becomes the feature as your business scales. But you know, and in all of it, you know, I think sometimes we forget how valuable, you know, we think we just think profit, profit, profit. Right. And then we think, okay, well, in order to have profit, I guess I better put some processes in there because you know some things are falling through yeah. the crack. But what keeps it all together and keeps it all smooth is the people. Doreen Blosh from Poshly Inc. She says, solicit feedback 
from your team. Mm -hmm. This is you know making sure that you're addressing inefficiency and constantly improving as you grow. You know, I'm always encouraged when we do stories on the uh, the the young entrepreneur council. They these kids have great wisdom, and we should just follow suit. All right, we got to take a quick break. When we come back, more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric, and this is the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. I'm Tom Busby, CNBC. Not so sweet news from chocolate giant Hershey after the bell. In an effort to streamline operations, it's cutting up to 15% of its global workforce. But Hershey says most of those jobs will be hourly workers outside the U.S. On Wall Street, the streak is over, with shares of Target tumbling today after a weak quarter and outlook, a tepid reading on fourth quarter U.S. economic growth, just under 2%, and jitters ahead of President Trump's address to Congress tonight. Stocks end the day lower, and the Dow's 12-day winning streak is done. Today, the blue chips fell 25 points, the Nasdaq down 36. Late earnings from Weight Watchers, stronger than forecast. It's got a great outlook, but the arts and crafts retailer Etsy lost Far more money than expected. And in Consumer Reports, top auto picks for this year. Audi tops all other automakers, followed by Porsche, BMW, Lexus, and Subaru. Tesla, ranked number eight. CNBC. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money Talk, 1690. Life, it's yours to own. When you're considering the purchase or refinance of a home, you want to know that the people helping you are looking out for your best interests, not just the best interest rates. Cheryl Braunschweiger and her team at Nova Home Loans are trusted members of the Experience Pros Network. And yes, they're ready to help you today. Call today, 720-279-5939. That's 720-279-5939. And let Nova Home Loans take care of everything. Life, it's yours to own. Nova Home Loans can help. NMLS ID 3087. The letter showed up in my mailbox with no tracks in the snow, and it might have been signed by God. You're not thinking about God, are you? you this Friday, my kids ain't Phillips. Do I know you? Believe in miracles. Why did you bring me here? The pain inside is devouring you. We'd like to heal it if you'd let us. That's why you're here, Mackenzie. This is your flying lesson. The Shack, rated PG-13, may be inappropriate for children under 13. Soundtrack featuring the new single, When I Pray For You, from Dan and Shay, in theaters Friday. Alcohol began to be a problem a few years ago, and the problem just got worse. Hi, my name is Bill. Alcohol had crept into my life over the years, taking over until I didn't have a life anymore. I needed a solution before I lost everything. I tried various treatments and counseling. They did not solve the real problem. I was addicted. I was exhausted trying to fight it. Go Sober was able to solve the problem within a week, and it's great to have my life back. If you want to find out more, go to gosober.org. 85% of people who go through the Go Sober program never drink again. The 85% success rate is because it uses science to solve your addiction problem. Go Sober provides FDA-approved medical treatments using specific drugs administered by a doctor in the physician's office. You will lose your desire to drink almost immediately, and you'll be back to work and back to your life the next day. Call Go Sober at 303-827-4837. That's 303-827-4837. Or go to gosober.org. This is Catherine Cooper. My husband, retired Master Gunnery Sergeant Jeffrey Cooper, and I survived a near-death head-on motorcycle crash. We called Attorney Jeremy K. for help. He worked day and night to get us what we were entitled to. Unlike a lot of attorneys today, Jeremy K. even makes house calls. Mm -hmm. 
He's been there for us every step of the way. He helped us understand our rights and answered all of our questions. Cave Law understands that many of you folks who listen to this station prefer to have a lawyer who sees things from your point of view. Well, I certainly do. I think it's time to put the personal back into handling personal injury. Jeremy Cave only gets paid when you do. Call Cave Law now for a free at-home consultation, 720-213-3737. If you're injured in an accident, call 720 720- 213-3737 or check out the brand new website cavelawyer.com that's cavelawyer.com personal and caring service from cave law call jeremy today 720-213-3737 Hey there, Dan Shakini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. See what our family can do for your family. 800-362-8370. Question, would you seat your three-year-old child on a windowsill? And would you seat them in a car seat that's not the correct one? Secure their future. Seat them in the correct car seat. More info at safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Dragon Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a Fan Dragon story of great customer service by using the hashtag Fan Brag or calling the Fan Dragon Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hey, welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie and Eric Rammer helping you get your business right. And having fun along the way. It is positive business talk over here. And, uh, you, you know, speaking of positive business talk, I am positive of this matter of business. There are two things that are absolutely certain. Death and taxes. Oh, two things certain in life. They do They do say that, right? And no matter how difficult the subject might be to discuss, but we are all going to face death at some point and even maybe a spouse or a loved one. But our next guest says the only thing that might be as tough to discuss is our finances about that uh, that episode in our life. He says that most people know that their death will be an emotional blow to their loved ones, but it's more likely to also be a financial blow as well. Tony Peroni is the president of the Estate and Business Planning Group. He's also the author of I Didn't Know I Could Do That, nine financial strategies that can save or make you money. You can find it online at drophelp.com. Uh, Tony says he routinely sees at least three costly mistakes that people make when it comes to money and death. Tony Peroni, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Oh, thanks, Angel and Eric. Tony, great to have you along with us. Uh, you, you know, you, you, one of the things that I see or they, they maybe make a lot of on the television sitcoms and whatnot are people who decide to spend their inheritance before uh, allowing it to take its natural course, if you will. You see that as a mistake. Is that correct? Well, not the spending as much. I mean, it's your money. You should spend it before your kids will spend it in a matter of about a year or two. So doing that's good. It's when you start giving it to the kids too far in advance. Yeah. You can really mess up one of the best tax codes we have. Oh, to, oh, to go, go into a little yeah. bit further depth on that. What, what are you talking about there? Well, there's a tax code called Stepped Up Cost Basis, which I think is the most abused in our industry right now. So give you an example. If you have a, a stock or a piece of real estate that you paid 100000 for, and now it's worth 500000 and if you die and somebody inherits that piece of property, then it gets stepped up cost basis up to a half a million now. You don't have to pay the gain between one hundred and five hundred thousand. So when somebody inherits something, something gets stepped up to the date of death. But if you give that property away while you're alive, you've now demolished that tax law and now when you get that asset, you gotta pay the tax between one hundred and five hundred when you go to sell it. And it's just an abused law that people don't realize. So people start to mm-hmm. give stuff away in advance and they're making a huge mistake um, by doing that. Let your heirs inherit the assets. They will enjoy a lot better benefits to the asset because everything will be stepped up at death. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I know even in business, you know, our our tax guy, you know, before we make any purchase or make any big, you know, financial change, he's like, talk to me first 
because there's probably a tax implication to a decision you're going to you're going to be making. And I know for for many of our parents, they think, well, I'm going to help you. We're just going to take care of it now. So it's not a burden to you afterwards. But you've got to talk to the professionals about this. Now, one of the things, you know, when I you know, I am married, I've got I've got three children. And so as long as everything's in both of our names, like it's all good, right, Tony? No, that becomes a major problem, too. Um, you won't get 100% of the stepped-up cost basis. You only get about half. So when you have spouses, um, when you're younger, yeah, a lot of things are in joint name or in a joint trust. But as you get older, especially if we can kind of pray probability and we have one that's not in the greatest health, you do not want to have a joint asset that's highly appreciated with your spouse because if you do that, you will not get 100% of the stepped-up cost basis, which is devastating to the spouse because you're already going to lose maybe a pension, maybe a social security check. You're going to go to a single taxpayer bracket. And now all this appreciated asset, now you're going to carry that cost basis over. You're not going to get it all stepped up. So it's a, it's a huge mistake. So we do a lot of uh, people that are sick, or we sometimes call it deathbed planning to make sure that if you know someone might have probability of going first, you might want to switch that asset to their name. They die. It goes to the wife 100% stepped up. No tax liability. A great stock portfolio, for an example. If there's a lot of gain in it, you can let your spouse inherit that and not pay a nickel of the any capital gain at that date of death. And then that's her new starting point. But by having joint ownership, you've just thrown half of that law away. Um, very, it's amazing that people don't talk about this more, but it can mean three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars in the tax liability that the spouse already got is already going to be hurt financially because of everything else that changes at death. And Tony, uh, I, I am not the brightest bulb in the knife drawer, but but I have to ask you this because I'm trying to keep up with the multisyllabic words that you're using, and, and and it's it's coming at me really quickly. I'm single, so I don't have to worry about this particular case, but Angel's husband's getting silver hair. And, and so <laughs> at what point do they arm wrestle for who gets the house? Well, you know what? It, it's... It's hard when you're younger. It's really not a younger strategy unless somebody comes down with some kind of illness. Well, like I said, he's losing his hair. I mean, it's just well, that's just old age. (laughs) I'm just saying. Yeah, old age is one thing, and and that you just you can't really play the probability as much Uh, when you start getting into that 70s, 80s. Health starts to break down on one side or another, or you come down with some health ailments. Then you start planning in this scenario and, and make the best of the situation for your heirs. And so those where the planning comes into play, or definitely if your parents are going to give you an asset right now, you don't want to take it if it's highly appreciated. Just leave it in the trust and let me inherit it, and it will come tax-free to you. But if you accept a highly appreciated asset from your parents today, then you're going to start the cost basis as if they would have bought it. Mm-hmm. happens a lot with stock. Yeah. They might give you an old Disney stock from many years ago. That's the worst thing a grandparent or a parent can do for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're talking to Tony Peroni, president of the Estate and Business Planning Group and author of the book, I Didn't Know I Could Do That, Nine Financial Strategies That Can Save or Make You Money. The website is drophelp.com, drophelp.com. Tony, this isn't, why Why aren't people talking about this, do you think? Well, I don't think there's any money to be made in the advisor world. I hate to say that as an advisor. I think it's just something that you got to get that holistic advisor that's looking at everything. So in my book, um, we have a chapter just focused on that and, and talking about these things. But, you know, I think everybody's just worried about that person that has that illness or they're, they're getting sick. So everybody's worried about the emotional side of it. I have to be the course person to say, wait a minute, you need to do this and do that and um, get the best tax strategy out of this. So people, I think it's just a sensitive matter when you talk about death and or when you're close to death, when you start doing these things, uh, which is important. So taking a spouse's name off of something, you can't do it within 12 months of death. So you can't do deathbed planning within 12 months. You have to kind of plan more than 12 months out if somebody um, is health is starting to deteriorate. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So it, you know, don't wait, don't right. delay. Now is the time. Okay. So in the book, though, you also talk about cashing in on your life insurance policy. Um, that sounds counterintuitive. I thought that was supposed to be passed down through death. Help us understand that, if you will, please. Well, a couple of steps that people don't realize. Some people are to the point they might not need the life insurance anymore, or slash they cannot afford it. 
Um, either way, need or afford, or if it's a term policy that's going to end soon and they're just going to let it go because term has a period of time and then to renew it in your 60s is very expensive. You actually, there's companies out there, life settlement companies that will end up giving you a, a buyout to buy the contract for you. At least you get something out of it if you're going to walk away anyways. I don't recommend getting rid of life policies, but if you are going to do it anyways, you might as well get the most bang for your buck. Most of the time, the insurance companies aren't going to pay the most for it. Life settlement companies will do that now. So it's a, it's a whole other industry that's out there, but pretty amazing. I've got a lot of um, executives that left million-dollar policies that they were going to walk away from and ended up getting them a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars on the buyout. I can't, I can't even imagine. Uh, but, but it makes sense what you're saying, and you clarified, you know, to keep keep the policy if you're able. But if you're not, go ahead and take take what you can. And of course, you've always got Alex Trebek to to fall back on. Uh, with his, his term policy and the commercials that they run. Oh, my goodness. All right, Tony, thank you so much for being our guest. Do you have a final word of wisdom for somebody today, a thought on leadership of what we should be uh, thinking about or ne- our next action step should be? I think the main thing is like um, something like the book, I didn't know I could do that. That is on Amazon and Barnes and Noble also. But the main thing is just get that advisor that is holistic. Get all the advice. It's not just about the return. It's about the net number to your heirs. So making sure you're getting the tax planning with it, all the strategies, not just performance, because performance can go up and down. But when these strategies like this, this is something we can control. Yeah. We can't control the market all the time. It's good stuff. Tony Peroni, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Folks, go check out drophelp.com. He might be able to help you as well. We'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. The Experience Pros Radio Show, serving your small business every single day. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Hi, this is Hugh Hewitt for Granite Transformation. If it's time to redo your kitchen and your bath, this is a product you really have to see to believe. Beautiful granite mosaic or recycled glass countertops measured and cut to fit right over your existing countertop so there's no messy tear out of your old counters. These are heat and stain resistant. They never need sealing, but most importantly, they are affordable and can be installed in most cases just one day. So give Todd Dutton and the staff at Granite Transformation the chance to earn your business. Call them today at 303 420 8920. It's 303-420-8920. I'm sure you'll be as impressed as I was. I've met Todd, so make sure you tell him that I told you to call and receive a free stainless steel sink and save an additional 10% just by stopping by their showroom. Let Todd and the folks at Granite Transformation save you time, money, and headaches. Call today at 303-420-8920. It's 303-420-8920. One of the great things I took away from my time in Colorado is a friendship with Todd. Make him your friend as well. Call 303-420-8920. This is a life-changing message for anyone with sleep apnea who is on the go and tired of dragging around a big, bulky home CPAP device. Now there's finally a portable device that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. You can even add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. It's the Transcend Mini CPAP. And right now, you can try Transcend absolutely risk-free for 10 days. So call now, 1-800-400-2199. Transcend is the world's first portable mini CPAP device. It gives you the freedom to sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever, Transcend is so small and so light, you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. To receive your 10-day in-home trial, call miniCPAP.com now. 1-800-400-2199. Again, that's 1-800-400-2199. Do you have glaucoma or high eye pressure? Are your daily eye drops interrupting your life? Local doctors are conducting a clinical research study of an investigational dropless therapy and are in need of participants. You must have glaucoma or high eye pressure in both eyes, be at least 18 years old, and have not had surgery for your glaucoma. Qualified participants will receive study medication at no cost. You will receive regular study-related eye exams by an eye doctor throughout the study. No insurance is needed and compensation is available. For more information and to see if you qualify, please call 844-3-MY-EYES or visit eyecarestudy.com. That's 844-3-MY-EYES or E-Y-E-C-A-R-E-Study.com. 
Limited space is available. Call or visit today. Participation is at no cost, and compensation for time and travel may be available for qualified participants. Visit iCareStudy.com or call 844-3-MY-EYES today. I can't say that. But we can. Sometimes you just can't write the words you want to say or find the right words to express your feelings. But we can. We are the right words, the people who help turn your thoughts into words so you can speak your mind. Too shy to ask that special person out? Try us. We're good at that. Love, hate, revenge, laughter. We're the right words, bringing you the words that make saying the hardest things easier. Learn more at therightwords250.com. W-R-I-T-E, therightwords250.com. This is a special notice to all U.S. taxpayers. If you owe the IRS or state back taxes and cannot afford to pay them back, there's good news. Due to the financial hardship many are facing in today's economy, the IRS has made it easier to settle delinquent tax problems through a federal program called the Fresh Start Initiative. Qualifying for this program will resolve your tax problem, end all collections, and possibly reduce your back taxes by up to 90%. If you are facing wage garnishments, liens, bank levies, audits, or payroll taxes, taxes, it's not too late. Your circumstances may qualify you for this special program, protecting your savings and your assets. If you owe the IRS or state back taxes and cannot afford to pay them back, there's no need to worry anymore. Call the hotline at Victory Tax Solutions to see if you qualify and potentially save thousands. For this free information, call 800-222-1963. 800-222-1963. That's 800-222-1963. You buy a vacuum, you expect it to work. You purchase a lamp, you want it to turn on and off. And when they don't, turn to Anderson's Vacuum. Since 1947, Anderson's Vacuum has been repairing all major brands of vacuums, air purifiers, lamps, even sewing machines. And they provide warranty repair for many major brands. When you know how things work, you know how to fix them. You can rely on six decades of experience at Anderson's Vacuum in Inglewood. Details online at andersonsvacuum.com. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie and Eric Kramer helping you get your business right. This is America's home for positive business talk. We're very proud of it. Thank you for tuning in. All right. So yesterday, Eric, we uh, on our second show that we do over on Crosswalk, we were talking about eating healthier. Yes, ma'am. And one of the things that came up was to avoid starchy vegetables. Starchy vegetables. Such as potatoes and corn. I don't know what else falls in there. But one of the things. And and, and breads. And breads. Yeah. So last night I go home and I think, all right, I got this thing. Yeah. I'm going to make instead, I'm going to make, you know, instead of spaghetti, I'm going to swirl up. I'm going to do my, my zoodles. I'm going to take some zucchini and turn it into noodles, put it, you know, some spaghetti sauce over it. And it was so yummy and and healthy. I mean, well, I thought, right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. You replace the the pasta with the vegetable heads up. Apparently zucchini zucchini is one of those starchy vegetables. Vegetables that we should not be, you know, that we should be avoiding. Maybe you should just do. This do, is the problem. Do sweet potatoes instead. Uh, sweet, thought, sweet potato. I thought you said sweet potatoes were on the starchy vegetable list too. You're correct. You're killing me. I know. You're killing right? me. How but about I've, this? Corn, peas, parsnips, potatoes, pumpkin, squash, zucchini, yams, all examples of starchy vegetables. None? I think that's the only thing. I think they just, they just took a picture of everything in your, your pantry and made Absolutely. a list and said, this I is went, what you shouldn't eat because it's in Eric's pantry. For all of this stuff uh, this last weekend, and and now we find out that it's not great for us. And we're talking about getting rid of visceral fat, which is the the. the we're fat. talking about getting ready for Mexico. Well, that's what I mean. We're I did. About I did just find visceral fat. A picture, a a, 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 a website that shows um, great pictures of inspiration that I should stick on my mirror to get myself ready for Mexico. Are they hot guys, firefighters? No, they're girls. Oh. They're hot girls. Can I come over and look at your mirror? 
No, but I can send you the website. I'd like Eric, to be, you can I'd like to be you can look inspired. At it. Yeah, this is a safe one for you to look at. <laughs> a safe one. <laughs> but it is such, okay, here we are trying you. to do the right thing, eat yep. healthier, right? <clears throat> eat the yogurt instead of the pastry. Find out the yogurt's got more sugar than the pastry. Right. Eat the zoodles instead of noodles. Find out the zoodles are the starchy vegetable. Drink the power of water because it's better than the cola, only to find out it really isn't. It is. Uh, it's got aspartame or whatever. Right? All right, so here, here's starchy vegetable. Non-starchy vegetables are typically flowering parts of the plant. For instance, lettuce, asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, cucumber, spinach, mushrooms, onions, peppers, and tomatoes. I'm ready All for pizza. Non, you can't. But you know what you can do? You can make cauliflower uh, uh, dough. Don't you roll your eyes at me. It's not the you same. You can make cauliflower know, dough and put the tomatoes can. on yeah. and leave the peppers on, on and the onions and the mushrooms and forget the okay, cheese. Okay, you know what? So then I'm thinking I need to go away to uh, a yoga retreat or a health fitness retreat where they teach you and you you know, instead of just a beach vacation where you just sit on the beach and oh, drink margaritas. In place of vacation? Oh, not no. not in the place of your vacation We're that gonna experience go to the beach is going to. No, I get that. Margaritas. No, I get that. I okay. get that. But for me, for me, something on along the line of of spending a week making healthy choices and you know, clean eating and taking care of my body and creating habits that I can bring back after the vacation. Right. You don't like this idea. I really don't. Uh, and here's here's why. why. Because you're going to be very frustrating, frustrated when you're supposed to be vacationing. What you should be doing is making those choices here. And, and I know, but this is going to be my, my starting point, my jump out, off the diving just, board. Just get out piece. of bed and do the downward dog. And, and, and you're going to be fine. Have some asparagus. Have some asparagus. That's your answer. Yeah. The, I'm taking health advice from you. I don't think so. Excuse so me. So here I found, here's some things that we need to know before we book our first yoga retreat. So he lifts heavy things up with his arm. Right? Okay. Here's what they say. If you're going to go on a yoga retreat, yeah. that the key to a great retreat experience is spending some time up front to find the right fit for you. And so, up front, in the front of the class? Front. No, no, like no, in advance. Do before. some research. Okay, I got you. Right? Do some research. No. First thing, it says you'll want to investigate what kind of yoga you'll be doing. Uh, Easy. Uh huh. Easy well, yoga. Apparently, there's vinyasa flow, what? there's hot yoga, prenatal yoga. I don't need that. Oh, here, Eric, nude yoga. What? Class offerings what? on retreat. Oh, Run here, Eric. The gamut. Uh, you won't go. I guarantee the people who are doing nude yoga mm-hmm. shouldn't. Yes, they should. They should. Why shouldn't they? Why shouldn't they? Nobody we need yoga that. too. Ain't nobody want to look Hughes, at that. Uh, they suggest <laughs> we, looking. We need, <laughs> we need yoga too. You can't uh, count yourself amongst that. Okay. Two classes a day is a good starting point. Just because you're going on a yoga retreat doesn't mean that yoga is all you're going to do. I tried one yoga class two years ago. That was enough. That's That stuff's hard. And then the downtime is essential. The goal of the yoga retreat is to get what you need and not to overcommit. And so, you know, don't overpack your schedules. Allow some downtime to nap. You know what you need? To take a walk. You oh, need some Eric, asparagus. Look at this is this is this is the tip for you. It's best to go on a yoga retreat alone. Go solo. They suggest that people attend the retreats on their own because you're going to be a little bit out of your comfort zone, and that's where the magic really happens. Yeah, and one of our listeners just says, just because you can't do nude yoga does not mean you should. For the sake of the others in the classroom, stop that downward dog. I did not ever need to see that. You would still haven't Blech. seen that. Oh, my goodness. Well, I haven't, you, seen, I haven't seen anything right? for a while. Nobody's looking. Nobody's looking. Nobody's looking? Why do we no. do nude yoga if no one's looking? It's, it's, so you don't feel restrained in your clothes. You feel free. Yes, and because of the, the lycra, mind flow and the chakras. My, my leggings. The, uh, my, my leggings are simply too binding. Right, right. It could be. It could be. <laughs> Anyways, all right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna figure this out on my own, and I'm not gonna talk to you about it. You come on. Don't <laughs> cut me out of your life. Have. Let, let's go get some asparagus. I, I don't want asparagus. I don't want to. I don't want asparagus. You, you do. You just don't know it. Uh, <laughs> I want pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Cauliflower crust pizza. They make it. It's you know what, thing. though? What on I the, have waiting for me right after the show, 
I have my lovely protein shake. That's going to make some brown water, isn't it? It's going to make some brown water. Mm -hmm. It's ready and waiting for me. I'm making good decisions. Hey, you know what? The best decision you folks have made all day long, tuning into the Positive Business (laughs) Talk. Listener Susan says, too many visuals, shaking my head. All right. She wants to go on a yoga retreat with yeah, me, don't you, Susan? No, no, don't, don't do that. Yes. We'll, <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow with more Positive Business Talk. Thanks for tuning in today. America's home for Positive Business Talk. You're listening to the Experience Grows Radio Show. Contact them on the web 